regarding another incident in Sevastopol Bay, namely a new attack by surface drones. The Russian Black Sea Fleet successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian surface drones. That, at least is what follows from the statement of Sevastopol Gauleiter, who lied that these very drones were destroyed on the outer raid. However, the video above clearly shows that this was not an external raid at all. Ukraine continues to test the Russian defense capabilities, both from the air and from the sea. And these capabilities are not at all impressive. Since October 29, 2022, in Sevastopol Bay of temporarily occupied Crimea, all kinds of incidents happen from time to time, which only confirms the fact that the liberation of the peninsula of Crimea is getting closer by the day. And the occupants are not preventing this in any way. This time two remote-controlled surface boats tried to break into the Bay of Sevastopol. After November 29, 2022 the occupiers made certain conclusions and deployed booms, creating obstacles for the surface drones. Obviously, a number of recent incidents are more reconnaissance in addition to the accompanying task. In general, it is quite normal to probe the enemy's defenses and determine their vulnerabilities through, shall we say, reconnaissance in combat. But today's incident demonstrated another very important detail about the security level of Russian troops in Sevastopol. The Russians have failed to provide sufficient security to a strategic site, the bay, over the past six months since the last incident. They have failed to detect and destroy potentially dangerous objects within a safe distance of at least 10 kilometers. The Russian occupants are still able to counter such incidents only in the immediate vicinity of the risk area, and no further, which demonstrates their limited ability to provide security. And in the long term, they will not be able to provide that either. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. Meanwhile Storm is approaching Marinka. To be more precise, Storm units were spotted near Marinka. These homunculi are an experiment of the Russian troops, which became forced against the background of a shortage of equipment and officers for the full staffing of the units. Appeared in the fall of 2022 these units, which were understaffed Soviet standard, had very mediocre performance in the past six months, as they had limited functionality. Apparently, it was decided that this limited functionality should be thrown at the Ukrainian Hiroshima, Marinka. Maybe it would at least show itself there somehow. There is a revealing moment in these dynamics. The Russian command does not hurry to throw paratroopers into the Marinka meat grinder, concentrating them on the Bakhmut direction. And the dashing motorized rifles from the 150th Motorized Rifle Division watch from the side, as the meat of the 1st and 2nd Army Corps of the DPR and the LPR. Ukrainian fighters do not feel better, but such reflections clearly demonstrate that even such scorched land as Marinka is inaccessible to the occupants, no matter how much they fight over it. Because it is someone else's land, and they are nothing more than fertilizer on it.